My dad was a real New York City kid, uh, born in Brooklyn, uh, went on to deal with Clinton High School, Columbia College, and Columbia Journalism School. He went on to work in uh, Europe uh, for the, in the U.S. Army for four years in psychological warfare. And when he got out, um, somehow the accumulation of all these experiences led him to become the father of marketing PR. Which twin has the Tony? We're representing the Tony Company and uh, they had the campaign, which twin has a Tony, which just swept the country. Everybody was talking about it, and I said, why don't we take these twins on the road and let America see them in person? And our first city of Tulsa, we got arrested. <laughs> the cosmetologists in, the, in Oklahoma decided that we were taking too much business away from them, and they, wanted, they said we were practicing cosmetology without a license. And I said, it's wonderful, let the AP know. The AP ran a story. Always Tony thinking twins. like an ad man. <laughs> PR guy. Tony Twins arrested <laughs> in Oklahoma. Ran in newspapers all over the country, and I loved it. But nobody doesn't like Sara Lee. Sara Lee was a product in the stores. These people pressed Charlie to make it a national product and to freeze it. So he had to really accelerate his uh, program. And that gave him a whole new avenue for the uh, pursuit of uh, Sara Lee business. We did the California versus French for an official wine tasting. California won, it was a great night. Got incredible placements in the media uh, about a subject that uh, people hadn't considered that California has very good product, you don't have to go to France. We were always surrounded by Colonel Sanders lookalikes by the hundreds. We dropped a few of them out of an airplane when we were launching the chicken sandwich over Sandwich, Illinois. We gathered hundreds of Colonel Sanders lookalikes in Times Square, put them on roller skates and bicycles to lead New Yorkers in what ultimately became a Guinness record-setting synchronized chicken dance. We have been pioneers in so many ways. Um, we've invented litigation public relations, our introduction of the Vietnam Veterans War Memorial in Washington, the work uh, on behalf of Dolphin Safe Tuna, first major environmental campaign ever, the first biotechnology drug, 1983 for Shearing Plow, the launch of the OTC switch of, of Advil, the first real use of the internet in crisis management. Dan realized it wasn't enough to do great client work. He had to follow these clients as they expanded globally. So we began our international expansion in 1965 in England. London clearly was uh, a very important um, scene for uh, cutting edge communications and for everything that was to do with um, a new kind of consumer that was developing. The trend in business is global and the important thing that UPS realized early on was that there's no universal template. Our job was to tell the truth and get people to understand where Finland stood so that trade could flourish. Uh, we turned our attention very naturally to the next area of development, which was the Pacific. Then after that, into uh, China. How important is the Asian market to your business? Public relations is still being discovered uh, in uh, Asia Pacific, so that uh, we consider that it's extremely important. I was proud that we got the award from the China Public Relations Association for bringing modern public relations to China. Chicago, New York, the UK, San Francisco, Beijing, Edelman, Italy, Edelman, Australia, Edelman, Indonesia, Edelman, Abu Dhabi. It is a special matter of pride for me that uh, Richard, Renee, and John have all chosen to become associated with our company. He has the entrepreneurial spirit, and as you, as you form new groups and new offices, and new companies, you are, it's recreating this entrepreneurial spirit. Entrepreneurship, citizenship, competence, teamwork, and creativity are key. That's very much part of who Grandpa Dan is, is this very much sort of an immigrant background. Always have to work hard, always like moving forward and trying to move up and doing it through hard work. The integrity that my father brought to this business in 1952 is a distinguishing mark that all people at Edelman ought to recognize and see as the beacon for um, future behavior. He believes that hard work, discipline, and integrity are the keys to a good life. We do impress on our people the importance of responding immediately, 
honestly, accurately, and completely to any inquiry from the media or an advocacy group. And it was always about putting integrity before speed or before a dollar. Always, always, always. It's been very rewarding. I feel very good about having played uh, an important role in the development of what is, in effect, a new field.